Well, congratulations on joining us here tonight. We just want to welcome you guys into our special session to learn more about the 2023 Chinese boot camp happening in Las Vegas, Nevada with Mark Ashley joining us. Uh, Kevin, I'm going to let you take it away, buddy. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to try to do this quick. I appreciate everybody getting on tonight. Um, I think it's tonight. Yeah, it's tonight for you. It's still morning for me. I'm in Kuala Lumpur on my way to Australia tomorrow, uh, bright, bright and early at 5.30 a.m. But uh, anyway, I want to talk to you, everyone, and I appreciate everybody joining. I want to talk to everybody. We've got, a, we got three, basically three weeks until the Chinese boot camp kicks off in Las Vegas. Um, it's going to be a tremendous, tremendous event, but we've got a three-week window here. We need to really put in a hard push to move our tickets, get maybe more tickets sold, but we need to get it, make sure we have tremendous attendance there, you know, at, at the boot camp. I know I've put out um, some messages earlier to the Chinese, Chinese Leadership Council, um, but we wanted to, you know, basically touch pay, base verbally, both Cullen and I. It's a very, this is a very big event. Um, you know, so I really need everybody, all the leadership, everybody, you know, on this call to really drill down into their organization, you know, to get people uh, to buy tickets, make sure they book their rooms for the room block. And, um, you know, I want everybody also to remember, we have translation from Mandarin to English, okay? So all, you know, everybody that's in your organization, let's say they don't speak Mandarin, there will be translation um, and it will be in English, so you may have some uh, English only, if you will, speaking uh, uh, unfranchised owners in your organization, but we will be providing that Mandarin to English translation. Um, the other thing is, you know, we've assembled some great speakers, great speakers to basically share with you what they're doing uh, with respect to um, you know, with respect to building the business and, the, and those active tasks and activities that get results. There are people, you know, it's not necessarily all high pin levels. These are people, you know, the basic the criteria is people have to be actively building, actually doing what they're going to be talking about. And so we've assembled on the agenda and uh, production schedule some very, very active and involved and people that are building and succeeding with their own franchise owners. So, you know, this is these people are people that you actually want to get your people in front of, okay? That are, you know, and, you know, aspire to, you know, building a business, all right? Um, these are people that are not just talking theory. This is what they do, okay? And it's really about, you know, focusing on the result producing activities. Um, the other thing I want to share with you, and I mentioned the Western region, I'm going to be, I mean, you know, talking to Colin, um, uh, have been talking to him a couple of times. I'm exploring, looking, I have, I'm coming back home. Everybody's pretty much aware of that. Um, and the thing is, is, you know, I'm talking to him about getting the Western region up and really, you know, fired up again. Um, so he and I are in uh, consultation, if you will, um, with respect to, you know, that desire. And one of the things is I'm going to be looking at, you know, how many people we have from the Western region, uh, you know, when they register to see, is there a demand for, a, you know, a big event like, you know, a Western regional convention at this time. Okay. So that, that, that's critical. Okay. Um, you know, so I, I, I share that with you because, you know, I really want to, you know, we need to get as many people from the Western region in attendance to the, C, you know, Chinese boot camp. So, so I'd be very, uh, you know, let's, let's get out there and get all of our people from LA, from San Diego, from, you know, Northern California, from, you know, Arizona, Nevada, I mean, anybody in the Western, we, we, you know, just get them all, get them all attend this so that we can, uh, you know, maybe I may call them all out, find out who registered, where they're from and, 
you know, we may have a little meeting, you know, during in the evening. Okay, I may have a meeting after the meeting, if you will, with, you know, those people that are in attendance. Utah, there you go. Absolutely, Utah. Okay, everything in the Western. I really want to get the, you know, I, I you know, it's per, near and dear to my heart. You know, I used to be the director of the Western Region, and uh, we won Region of the Year a couple times, and uh, <laughs> it's very rewarding, and I loved it. And uh, you know, I, I I like to get back on that that million dollar roll, if you will. Okay, so. Try, let's try to get all of our people that we have in our organization to attend this great event. It'll be fun. Um, you know, I love Vegas. Um, a great place to maybe have a Western Regional Convention. So, and that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Colin, um, and uh, I will go through the chat questions that are coming up or anything like that. And uh, I'll get back if there's any you know questions that I'll get them answered. So with that, there I'm going to turn it over to Colin and, uh, you know, have at it. Fantastic. Well, listen, everybody, I hope each and every one of you that's on the line is building out in the Western region and, you know, committed to making things happen. We obviously didn't bring up Nevada, but of course, everyone, you know, in the Las Vegas, Nevada area. As a matter of fact, last week, Kevin, I was on a Zoom session uh, with a couple Roxanne Reed just sponsored in Las Vegas. And so, of course, I'm like, you got to be at this boot camp because we'll have translation. You guys will be good to go. I mean, this is the best thing for them to get plugged into to hit the ground running. And, and I don't know about any of you guys, but People are always asking us, uh, and I know Kevin can verify this, but people come up and say, man, I wonder like in the different cultures and in the different environments, how, what are the different techniques that people are using to, in order to grow a successful unfranchised business? And this is going to be the perfect opportunity if you're one of those people asking that question to kind of like the, the, the curtain gets pulled back some for you to really hear the behind the scenes of what everyone is doing uh, in order to grow very, very quickly. Because as we know, the, there's all, all over the world, uh, the area, uh, there's is areas within the GMTSS all over the world that are on fire. And, and, and then there's some areas that are kind of along for the ride. And you want to be in an area that's on fire. And, uh, and I know Kevin's coming off of a, a number of uh, events over there in Asia, and all of them, uh, record ticket sales, selling out, building event to event, red hot and rolling. And, and that's exactly the anticipation as we're going into the Chinese boot camp. But then coming out of it, you know, anything in business, and, and hopefully everybody has their business hat on, but you vote with your attendance, you vote with your dollars, you vote with, if you want something to, to keep going, or you want to take things to the next level, we have to show up to go up is how we always used to say it and growing our unfranchised fraternity and I, um, and you know, obviously Kevin's the same way. So in the end, you guys, you just want to make this a, a priority and do whatever it takes to make sure that anybody out in that area, you're getting plugged into the system. So therefore they are, are getting the necessary tools and knowledge to take their business to the next level. So so I, I do want to comment. There's a couple of questions. You know, there won't there won't be English. There won't be English translation to Mandarin. And the reason is uh, we other than Mark and myself, um, we're the only English speakers and we're only going to speak for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. OK, okay. Um, this is basically all uh, going to be all Mandarin speakers, all Mandarin and presenters. And then we will go from Mandarin to English, okay? Um, there has been times in the past uh, that we've had both way translations and had English speakers, but we, we, we didn't sell, we haven't sold enough tickets to be able to, you know, uh, pay for that, okay? Gotcha. Good um, clarification, Kevin, because I did throw that in the chat because I yeah. thought that's where we were headed with it. So I'm glad that, okay, perfect. The other, the other thing I wanted to bring up is I saw that, you know, Mark Aliotti is on, on, you know, present. And then I, I'm sure that Mark isn't the only, you know, English speaking, you know, person that's on, it's so English speaking person. But it, this is a great opportunity. This is a great opportunity for, you know, people that, uh, you know, never t attended Chinese boot camp 
don't really know. It's a great opportunity to get, a, you know, a few members of your team, you know, get a ticket, come to Las Vegas, see what it's all about and see, see what's happening, what's going on, you know, uh, you know, and, and experience, you know, what's going on in the, the, the Chinese UFO community. Okay. In North America, you know, we've got people speaking from Canada. We've got people speaking from, you know, all over the country. And, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in the more not the more knowledge you possess. Okay. The more knowledge that you gather, the more knowledge you obtain from all over, you know, it's amazing what people that will teach you. Okay. Or what you can learn, you know, it's always that little bit that makes the biggest difference. And a lot of it is in securing that knowledge um, and, and either initially or repetition. Um, and cause that's really what it's all about. And it, it, it will, the more, you know, the more, you know, and the more you gather, okay. Uh, the better decisions you can make, the better, App, you know, methodology, the me better strategy. Uh, it's just, you can never have enough knowledge and you can't get, you know, you can't really talk to enough people to obtain that knowledge. But that knowledge is so important, so important because that knowledge helps make each member of your team more proficient, more proficient in, you know, using product, selling product, exposing our business model you know, and at the same time, demonstrating the value, the value of attending events and, and, and securing that education. You know, I, I, I say this all the time. The more knowledge, the more knowledge that you possess, okay, the, the better you position yourself when you initiate a conversation with somebody and you're prospecting, okay, the more, the more knowledge you have, the easier it is, the more efficient, the more effective it is to communicate to that individual that you're conversing with, that you may, you may, you just might possibly possess knowledge that may have be of benefit or value to that individual you're talking to, 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 potentially have a solution to whatever it is that they are currently challenged with, have a need for, a problem, whatever it may be, whether it be a product solution or a financial solution, potential financial solution. But the key is, is if you don't possess the knowledge, okay, and able to communicate that in the conversation, then, you know, it, it makes it very difficult to get their mind open. And if, if you, I don't care whether you're, you know, uh, a PhD, you have a PhD in rocket science, nuclear physics, whatever, okay, or you're making, you know, a hundred million dollars a month, okay, crazy, stupid money in this business, okay? The point is, is where, wherever you're coming from, you can be the janitor, you can be a nursery school teacher, you can be a, a homemaker, okay? But if you possess the knowledge, people will listen to you. People will listen. It doesn't matter what walk of life you come from. If they feel, if they feel that you may possess knowledge that could be of value to them and benefit to them, they're going to open their mind and they're going to listen. So, but you can't do that unless you're extremely knowledgeable, okay? And uh, so to me, you know, I'm fortunate. I get to attend every daggone event all over the world. Get to attend them all in the US, North America, every single market in Asia, you know, and it's easy to, let me tell you what, this business is easy if you can converse with people at, based on the knowledge that you've acquired in the business. So. Um, again, I can't stress, this is just one more tremendous opportunity um, to not only secure knowledge for yourself, but also, you know, get your teammates there. 
that are really, you know, motivated to, you know, build and expand their business. So with that, I'm going to, uh, we're going to let everybody go. I don't want, uh, you know, to it's late for you all. It's getting close to 10 p.m., I believe. So with that, I'm going to sign off. But I, I hope to see everybody at the Chinese boot camp that logged on here. Let's get your people. Get one more person from your team to join you, okay, uh, at least to, the, to this, you know. And everyone that has a ticket, let's get another, let's get another teammate, okay, because that's what, there's no power in one, okay? It's all about leverage, okay? So let's get, let's get people educated and uh, ready to go. So with that, I want to, so I'm going to sign off. Everybody have a great evening and I will see you in three weeks. Take care. There you go. See everyone there, guys. Have a great one.